My name is Gary Thornhill and I'm here at Meet Ministry. I am just about to complete the 18-day program and man it has been a, a blessing. It has been a journey. So I'm here talking to you now because the Lord sent me to Meet Ministry and as the Lord leads I will just share with you what um, my experience has been like and hopefully it helps you in your journey wherever you are and whatever part of the world God has a plan for your life Jeremiah 29 11 God is faithful man and um, so my story starts out I was um, I'm a veteran a disabled veteran actually I was in the United States Air Force and then after that I was in the US Air Force Reserve so um, while I was in I had some some issues with my knees uh, both knees my ankle my back and after that working I've I've had other issues and problems to my body other injuries working as a physical therapist assistant with my shoulders forearm and hands and so it just became this laundry list and then um, I've always been fighting this battle it seems like since I've got out of the military with the Veterans Affairs or the VA as I will refer to um, trying to get quality health care trying to address my my problems you know all my health challenges and through that battle it's been tough and then came in depression and stress and anxiety so I already had a long list of issues I was already dealing with and then it was like the enemy was seeking whatever he could do to just snuff me out to just take my life because then came suicidal thoughts so it has been a, a mighty battle that I've been fighting and I just want to pause right now and just give somebody hope because if you're believing if you are breathing right now there is hope for you you still have a shot and Jesus loves you so much John 3 16 if you put your name in that text God is speaking to you and I'm so grateful that all those ideas and thoughts that I had that I did not follow them to the end because I would not be sitting here talking to you right now so with all this going on I was really seeking the Lord what what can I do I was seeking mental health counselors and trying natural remedies for, for the depression and trying different things in therapy for my body and it just seemed like I wasn't making any success well I don't want to share too much because my story is so long but I ended up in Puerto Rico seeking to study at a university a Christian university there and still dealing with all these issues nothing is really getting better so I uh, was doing a, something called cold portering where you go around and you solicit donations give, giving uh, books about spirituality religion and uh, health to help the community and those donations help you with your university expenses so while doing that I was really praying and I was just feeling pretty sad like I have these days where I just feel really really sad like I just don't want to do anything and I, I told the director you know hey listen you know I waited for everybody to get out of the van and I was just transparent with them I'm like bro like I can't I can't do anything today you just gotta bring me somewhere I had already made up my mind I brought my Bible and I just wanted to spend time with God so he was trying to encourage me you know like let's let's go let's let's do something you know a little bit I was gonna train you today you know I was like bro I'm like I'm done I, I'm not just take me somewhere let me just have time with God and that's going to be okay. So he said, okay. And we were in Puerto Rico and he took me to a place called Coamo. And uh, we had already been there and I didn't do too well. So I was like, man, I don't, I don't want to go back to this place. <laughs> but here we end up again in Coamo. And so he took me to this, this like mountain where there was like a lookout. And he, and he told me, man, you know, there, I know another guy. You know the Bible writes about him where he went to a mountain and he met God there so I'm leaving you here in this mountain and I just pray he pray with me that you would just have you would just meet God here and so while I was there I started reading the Bible I started with Psalm 119 and then I just felt impressed to go to read about Elijah and came to where he was in the cave and read through that and then I kept reading and I came to 1st Kings 20 
verse, 1 Kings chapter 20, verse 22. And that verse just hit me. And I just got the chills. And I knew the Lord was speaking to me in that moment. And it said, you know, the prophet Lord came to the king and he said, Go, strengthen thyself. Observe and see what thou need to do. For at the turn of the year, the king of Aram will come up against you. And I said, man, this is, this is powerful. And I kept reading, but I came back to that verse. And I just felt like, okay, God is he is telling me something. Like, I need to go do something about my health challenges. I, I need to get some resolution. So I have a group of four men that we, um, they're all Christians. And we all have a, a text group. And in this group, I let them know this passage. And I said, you know, like, what, what does God want me to do? And one of them was like, man, you, you should check out Wildwood. You know, they have a lifestyle center there and they have a life alignment program. So I said, like, okay, cool. So I, I checked it out and I, I, I really started praying. And I start, that quest led me to start to search other lifestyle centers. And, and there's, there's a variety out there. So when I came across to uh, Meet Ministries, not by my search on the internet, but by his mother, said, you know, why don't you check out Meet Ministries? You know, there's a guy there, uh, Dr. Thomas Jackson. You know, I like some of the stuff that I, I, I listen to, some of his things there. You should check him out. There's a good ministry. I've, I've heard some testimonies. Uh, another friend uh, had told me, yeah, you know, th there, she heard like s some testimony about somebody um, being delivered from like herpes and HIV or something. I said, wow, that's, that's incredible. So it was pretty encouraging, the stories I, I was hearing about meat ministry. So I checked it out and... Um, I spoke to some people. I think maybe Alicia was the first person I talked to. But, you know, the people are so friendly here. I, I spoke to a bunch of people in the whole process. And they didn't have any availability. I was trying to go. I started going to college. Um, I was kind of waiting to see what was going to happen. I was going to try to come here in March. And they didn't have any availability. And so I was like, okay. So I was like, well, I guess this is not the time. I kept praying about it. kept doing research. I kind of just, like, set it aside. And then, um, you know, around April came I was feeling pretty distraught and I was like man you know because that, that was back at, towards the end of January I said like, you know what am I going to do and then uh, um, this one morning in my devotion the Lord just gave me this plan just this plan I just just started writing down all the stuff and just that's something else I want to share the Lord has showed me there's multiple ways to have a devotion I didn't even have my Bible there the Lord the Holy Spirit just spoke to me and I just got a piece of paper and, a pen, and I just started writing all this stuff down and then I started to pray over this plan every day until I left and the Lord has brought almost everything come to pass there's still some things that need to come to pass but I'm in I'm working towards those and one of those is going home to help my family but um, so one of the, one of those plans one of the things in the plan was to go to a lifestyle center so I was like well let me let me start looking again and um, I had found out about meat ministry in Jamaica so I didn't have a lot of money to work with so I said well let me contact them so I contacted them to see if I could come in May and they were like, sorry, you know, it was unfortunate. Their juicer had just broke and they were trying to work to get another one. And then they, they told me, um, we don't have any availability and not, not even until like August. And I said, well, that's not going to work because I got to be in New York at that time to help my family. So I contacted Meet Ministry and then they didn't even have any availability. They said, well, sorry, we're, we're booked up. And um, I can't remember when they told me well, their availability. So... Um, but it was a, definitely a couple months. So I was like, well, that, that's not going to work. So I talked to a lady named Carol, and I praise God for Carol because Carol told me, you know, no, she was, she was so friendly. She said something like, no, nah, baby, go ahead. and go, You need to go ahead and apply because God is in control. And I said, yeah, but, you know, there's no space. She said, you don't worry about that. You know, faith what works without works is dead. You go ahead. You put you some faith. Do that work, and we'll see what comes to pass. I said, okay, Carol, I'm going to do this. So I went ahead. And um, I went ahead and, and, and I applied and, um, and I prayed about it and I actually applied to another lifestyle center and I was waiting to see what was going to happen, you know, with the finances on that and I was just praying. And then uh, about a week and a half went by, the, the other lifestyle center that could take me, but I, I, after just doing research about the game plan, I, I would say that, that Meat Ministries had here, I, I, I was really in harmony. One of my friends said, listen, you need to pray and ask God, what do you need? And what are these going to offer you? And then see and, and line that up with what God's telling you and, what, and, and, and see what the best match is. And, and I did that and I was like, it was still meat ministry. So I was really praying. And about a week and a half went by 
and I called to check to see what, what was what was the situation when they say listen um, yeah your application been proved you know we, we can take you on so I said wow um, I was just impressed because I'm like you know first they said they didn't have the space and now that now they have the space so uh, and as you can see I'm here so this this is you know testimony I came here on May 16th and what happened was somebody canceled I happened to be the next person so I, I just fell right in to the slot so I got here well May 16 but um, leading up to that I had talked with uh, Dr. Jackson Dr. Laverne Jackson about like my financial situation so I just want to encourage you guys there's some of you that you don't know how you're gonna financially fund this pray and seek the Lord and reach out to others because 1 Corinthians, 1 Corinthians 12 tells us that we are a body of members and others can help and I contacted two churches you know I told her at first like I don't know who I can talk to and then when we got off the phone the Holy Spirit impressed me I got these thoughts like you know contact these two churches and uh, one of the churches was able to help fund uh, some of this venture and I was able to get uh, a disbursement from Pell Grant that helped me you know from funds that weren't used so I, I was just praising God that he was making it clear and I just want to encourage some of you that some people might say oh you know it's too costly or you know no that's not worth your money trust the Lord and move in faith because had I listened to some people that were telling me don't come here you wouldn't even be hearing my story the things that I've experienced I would have never experienced the people that I met here I would have never have met if I would have listened to those people but the thing was I was just praying and trusting God and some people say that God leads in a pattern I was seeing the pattern he was making provision for me to get here so I just kept following that pattern so I got here May 16th and I was I was prepping um, Praise God for Michael. He helped me with some guidance and some things that I should have, you know, like the, the dry skin brush and a robe and just some, some key things to have when you come here so that um, things flow more smoothly. Because when you get here, man, like your therapy begins that night, Sunday. They, they do not waste time. Meat Ministries is all about 100% dedication. The people here are full of love and it has just been an awesome experience and I, I, I'm just so grateful for God for, for what I, I have seen here just among the people and it's interesting because when we got here there's people coming from different places Canada and um, two from Tennessee and Georgia and uh, California and then I'm coming from Puerto Rico but some of these places one lady's from um, Rwanda originally in the Congo another lady in Ukraine so in Trinidad and Tobago so it's like these people are coming from different backgrounds and we're all meeting in one place and it's interesting that they call this a meet ministry and man like the first week we're getting to know each other but it wasn't even a full week I think by Thursday we were already realizing that God had handpicked each one of us like I said somebody was supposed to be there before me even when uh, I moved up next in line there was somebody that was going to take my place but they were like hey listen you need to put your deposit and I was still working on the financial details they hadn't been worked out but in faith I just moved forward and I just paid and made a payment and God secured that that place for me so man I'm so grateful because the people that I've met here um, Karen and Andrew and Karin and uh, Pierrette and uh, Lilia. Uh, I mean, is this uh, we have become a family in a place that they call our home. It is such a beautiful thing. So <clears throat> some of the things I've experienced here is a lot of waste removal. There's things that I had in my body I, I did not even know. Um, my energy has increased my thoughts have become clear my pain is increased and also my depression my stress anxiety has gotten better now I'm I'm just going to be transparent yes I've been here I've, I've had sad days even today you know in the morning but God has lifted my spirit and what has happened since I've been here 
I've been able to connect more with Jesus Christ. Our devotions here, led by uh, Richard Bland, or we call him Papa Bland, have been amazing. We do morning and evening devotion, and it's, it's so sweet because we, we sing a little bit, we go around, we're reading out of this uh, book, Ministry of Healing, and you know, the Lord is just speaking to each one of us, and people expound, and it is just wow. It is so powerful. This place is really comprehensive. They, they are covering every area. You, you're drinking a regiment of all kinds of things, but I promise you, you can get through it. You have a cleansing drink and a herbal tea and a juice, and then you repeat that. And you do it like four times, I think, three or four times for each one for the first uh, five or six days. And uh, it seems like, man, is this ever gonna finish? But I, I tell you what, when we got to the second week, that's when I was like, wow, like I, I really started to see benefits, especially in my pain, my energy, and my thoughts, and, and even the depression. And you know, the fact that we were coming together as a family was very, very special to me. And we just had so much laughter. I mean, we would just, we would just laugh about small things to, to big things. And, you know, this experience has been so, so special for me. Uh, Michael is one of the therapists here. He's been working with me. And, you know, I, I would just say be patient because, you know, when you're working with people, you have to understand, especially people that are working for the Lord, they are connected to Christ and they are waiting upon the Lord to move. So in the beginning, it was like I wasn't quite sure if, if Michael was addressing everything, but I was praying about it, I was communicating with that, but then he, he was working and, and I had comfort because God used him to start applying different remedies and, and I started seeing results and benefits and it's just small things Michael did, like he on the stove, he would put a pot and he put my name on it. So I came out and the tea was there ready for me and I just like, it just, it just meant a lot to me, something so small, but it just showed us attention to detail that he really did care, you know, for my well-being. Um, he would he make some cocktails, you know, like uh, where he puts this comfrey tea uh, to help with the joints and some other things. Um, also, he's just very dedicated, making sacrifices, uh, staying up late and getting here early, all just so I could have a complete healing touch. So, you know, and I took some things. I just want to make sure I'm not missing anything because it's just, uh, it's been so special, you know, to, to be here. Um, you know, Michael's thoughtfulness, he, he is very considerate, uh, being transparent. When we're in the treatments, he's checking to make sure, are you okay? Is this okay? And, and um, you know, he, he, he's, when you're doing the certain procedures, checking your temperature, pulse, he, this place, it may, you know, you can only see so much from the website. But, you know, something so powerful that I learned from my dad, it's like, um, the word of mouth is powerful. That's, a, that's the best form of advertisement. And so what you're hearing from me is only my story. And you can choose, you know, how you, how you receive it. But I can just be transparent and tell you my experience. And... I'm just grateful that I came here. I am uh, I'm just grateful that that God allowed me to have this opportunity. So, um, as you can see, it's it's pretty emotional because um, there's times um, I feel like giving up. You know, as I talked about the suicidal thoughts, and it's only, it's only by God's grace that I'm here, you know, speaking to this, to each one of you listening. Um, so, it's things like that, you know, Michael's uh, dedication that uh, made me feel like my life had meaning, my life had value, that I could come to some place and, you know, receive a healing touch and uh, I really recommend Meet Ministry because <clears throat> they are seeking 
an individual approach. They will look at your case, they will pray with you before the treatment, when the treatment finishes, and they will educate you about what's going on with the treatment, why you're doing the treatment. So it's, it's, a, it's a beautiful thing, it really is. And when people look at cost, I compare it cost to the other lifestyle centers. And <clears throat> this one actually is one of the more affordable ones. And actually, I think it's probably one of the best ones. You know, let God lead you where you need to go because every, every health center has people that are working for the Lord and He knows where you need to go. I, I just want to share this with you so you can be rushing short. If you, if you consider meat ministry, you will know that you're coming to a place where the people do care about you and, and they are seeking to genuinely help you. There has been love throughout this place. And these people are each going through their own trials. In fact, since I've been here, there was a fire. There was um, four people, three ladies and, and her son were living in, in uh, um, one of these, these other houses here on the campus. And something happened, a fire, and praise God, no one was injured, but they lost all their stuff. But through that, these ladies were able to continue working for a couple of days. Had to take some days off, of course, to attend to those needs. But they were still giving complete service to help, to attend to the needs. And it just, it just shows the Christianity that, that is here. Christ is definitely here. The holy angels are here working through them. I, I love something that Michael says, you know, he said, you know, um, he's from St. Lucia, so, you know, he talks, um, you know, like they say in the Caribbean, he's like, um, you know, something happened, and, and I said, Michael, man, you, you know, you, you, wasn't, you wasn't worried about that boy. He said, nah, boy, what, man? All of heaven with me, <laughs> you know? So he said, I work with all of heaven. And it's like, it really inspired me because he reminded me that, you know, like, he really is, like, he's working with Jesus Christ, and the whole of heavenly host is with him. And it's, um... That's the mentality. That's the kind of people that you will meet here at Meet Ministry. And it's interesting, you know, if you choose to come here, when you arrive, you will see that you will be connected with people you were meant to be. Like the, the, the family we have here, the six of us total, is, um, it's amazing. It, it's, it's amazing that, that only God can put something together like that. I, I just want to be to the point. Uh, our group really clicked and my time here has been so special. I've, I've received a healing touch. I've come to know Jesus more. I, I've been blessed from the food. is good food they're, they're serving you here. Uh, good health lectures. We had a, a, um, a couple garden um, adventures. We actually, the garden you'll see if you come here now in the future, there's a garden on the side of the, the house. We, we put that together on, uh, on, a, on a Sunday and man, all of us working together, it was just a beauty. We, we got a, a blessing from that. Um, you, they have cooking classes, they're, they're teaching you. The, it's, oh man, it's just this, the value here is just unmatched. It, it just really is a special place. Um, so, I leave you with this. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6, it says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not unto your own understanding, but in all your ways acknowledge the Lord, and He shall direct thy paths. So, trust God, pray about it, and know that He is with you, He will never leave you, and He will never forsake you. And please consider Meet Ministry if you really are seeking to be made whole like in John chapter 5. This place will do all that they can with the power of heaven to help you with whatever you are going through. I just want to say I love you, brother and sister in Christ. And if we may never meet, I look forward to, to meeting you in the Father's house and we can hear each other's story and we can tell how we overcome by the blood of the Lamb. May God be glorified and may you be richly blessed. In Jesus' name, amen.